Good morning, Lions. I'm Dylan. And I'm Amelia. And as always, thanks for watching SFTV3. Welcome back. Today is Tuesday, January 24th, day A, and we hope everyone is ready to tackle the week ahead. We have a lot of birthdays today, so we are wishing Rishi and Ria Chada, Pia Kuhl, and David Kyle a very happy B Day. For lunch today, we have a hamburger or cheeseburger with waffle fries, fruit, and milk, and with no worldly cuisine. Today, everything else is a la carte. Our weather today is staying on the cooler side with a high of 40, a low of 30, and a 10% chance of rain, so at least we'll be staying dry today. In sports today, it is senior recognition night for all student athletes tonight at the JV and varsity basketball game, home as they take on Thomas Jefferson at 6 p.m. tonight. The new South Vietnam dance team has an all-captains meeting today in the fitness studio as they begin choreographing their newest routine. Attention seniors, just a reminder that Jostens will be holding an assembly for all seniors today. They will be discussing the information regarding the cap and gown for graduation. The, pr the principals will also be present to speak on other senior events and information. The entire class of 2023 will attend. There's a speech and debate club meeting with Ms. Quirk at 2.40 in the conference center and a crazy for you rehearsal in the theater at 2.45. Our annual soup drive to support the community has already begun. Please place all non-perishable food items into the boxes at the front of each building or in front of the HS library. Do your part to help tackle hunger by donating. Donations end on the day of the Super Bowl. It is finally that time of year again. Are you ready for the best night of the year? Minifon registration is now open, so get your team of 6 to 12 people together and go get a registration packet from Mr. Flan. Don't miss out on this amazing night and raise some money for the kids. Well, that's all we got for you today. Check out this video, and as always, have, have a, a great, great day, day Lions. Lions. Roar! Roar. Welcome back to another SF Versus. I'm Willie White. And I'm Buster Brown. And I'm really excited for this matchup today. In Dibbly Buster, today we have the fan favorite, Mr. Patterson, going up against Mr. E ESPN himself, Connor You Got Moss Sierra. Let's hope Connor can keep the ball in front of him this game and not get mossed. He'll certainly have to keep it off his head. <laughs> well, Mr. Patterson will have five attempts to get in the end zone with Drew Rohorski throwing for him. Hopefully he doesn't throw like he did in West A. On one side of the ball, we got an all-conference quarterback, Connor Sierra. And on the other side of the ball, we've got the aging and very experienced Mr. Patterson. I guess this matchup will see if youth beats out experience. You're right, Busta. I think Mr. Patterson's got a lot of left in that tank, but is it enough to round up an all-conference corner? Well, let's go down on the field and see what the players are thinking about this matchup, Floyd. I mean, he was on ESPN, I was on ESPN. I can't get much more embarrassed. You know, I think he's a basketball coach. Should go pretty easy, I mean, you know, in football practice, you know, Jamaica really doesn't challenge me, or Dean's, so uh, I feel like I have this one in the bag. Uh, you know, this is the year I'm about to turn 30, feel like I'm 18, playing against a bunch of 18-year-olds. I beat up on the middle school team throughout the whole football season, and uh, it's about time I get called up to beat up with some high school kids, so I think it's going to go pretty easy. Well, that's enough tomfoolery. It's game time, baby. Let's play ball! <laughs> Oh, what a route by Patterson, but I'm not sure he caught that one in bounds. Let's go down and see what the official says. Well, it looks like he ruled it out. Wait a minute. They're reviewing it. Oh, Mr. Patterson goes up first route. Goes up. Looks like a catch to me. Oh, he's got his foot down. That's a toe tap. That's nasty. Well, it looks like Connor's coming down to press. Oh, but great get off by Coach Pat. Oh, what a route. Touchdown for Coach Patterson. That was too easy. Look at that, Selly. Oh, such, such, such cleanness. Well, it looks like Coach Pat has got this 2-0 right now. What a snag by Coach Pat, but he's about 20 yards short of the end zone. Doesn't look like that one will count. Simply doesn't know the rules. Man's got to learn. Coach Pat with the takeoff. Oh, what is this? Uh, um, I'm not, I think it was a corner. I couldn't tell. Uh, he was kind of running all over the place. To be fair, Willie, that was an awful that was an awful pass by the quarterback there. Uh, the freshman doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, Coach Pat looking for a fade ball. Ah, oh, what a terrible ball by Drew again, leading him straight into the sand. Almost got the old man injured. All right, well that's it. Looks like Connor Sears got this one in the bag. Wait, would you look at that? Coach Patterson's making a signal to his quarterback. Oh my gosh, no! He's gonna do it. He's calling for a fade. It's gonna be not again. Fade again. Not again. 
South Fed High School. Guess what? When you let him grow up like that, you know what they call that? You got more. Give me some, Alex. Well, let's go down to the field and uh, see these post-game interviews. No, I mean he's better than he looks. I guess he, uh, I guess he still got it in him. Hey, he put up a good fight. Uh, my 13-year-old players didn't put up that much of a fight this year, so glad to see these high school kids are actually doing something up at uh, the varsity level with Coach Rossi. Thanks, Lions, for tuning in to another SF Versus. And although this one ended in a tie, we can at least still pump up the donut drive and help those kids. 15K, baby. All right.